July 4th is right around the corner. Here are some of the DIY projects that I did for July 4th. The main colors should have been blue, white, and red, but unfortunately, I didn't have all the colors that I needed. But hey, that's what DIY is about. Using whatever resource you have, right? Alright, let's get started. DIY number one, Star Garland. Right off the bat, we have a project that's missing all the essential colors. You will need colorful papers or even just pattern papers that features blue, white, or red, twines, and tapes. First, we are going to cut out a star-shaped stencil. Then use that as a guide to duplicate the rest of the stars. Then cut out one long twine that would be used to hold all the dangling stars. The length of this twine depends on how long you want it to be. Mine is about 36 inches. Then cut out different lengths of twines to be used for the dangling stars. Tie those twines to the main one, leaving space between each dangling twines. Then arrange the stars however you want. I'm just alternating the star colors so they don't repeat the colors. To attach the stars to the twines, you can either use glue or tapes. I'm using tapes here. You can either cut off the X's from the knots or leave them. It's up to you. I cut mine off just so that it looks a little bit more even and organized. Since I'm a pretty messy person usually, so at least I want my DIY project to be a little bit more clean. As I mentioned, I don't have all the essential colors, but I did try to see how it would look like if I had the right colors. This is as close as I could get. I think it looks pretty cool. Like the bolder colors makes stand out a little bit more and makes it look better than my pastel color, at least for July 4th thing. If you have one of those Christmas lights, then you can add that to the garland. The lights look pretty cool when the light is off, but the stars, well, let's say kind of fade away. You can't really see the colors of the stars once the light is off. DIY number two, hanging decors. For this project, you will need toilet paper rolls, wrapping papers, all pattern papers, tapes, twines, and stars from the previous project. If you don't have any pattern paper or wrapping papers, you can use a simple white paper and draw or decorate them however you want. First, cut out the wrapping paper length that will fit the toilet paper all around. I'm using tape here to stick the wrapping paper to the paper roll. It looks a lot quicker than waiting for my glue to dry. Then cut out three twine strands. One will be used for the top and two will be used for the stars. For the stars, I tape mine across each other so that the weight balances out. Using the same method from the previous DIY, I tape the stars to the dangling twines. The one you are seeing here is actually a new example that I made for the instruction, which I think turns out a lot better than my initial ones. These are the first ones I tried. They didn't turn out as well as I hoped, but hey, just doing our ideas there. DIY number 3, Jars. Oh my god. Ever since I started testing acrylic paints, I have been using acrylic paints in like every project. I already have a blue background star themed bottle that was a mouthful. <laughs> Let's just say a blue bottle. So I went with a red background this time. You can either leave it as a red background only or as on stars, which is what I did. I already have a lid with stars and dots on a red background, so I decided to match my bottle with the lid. Even though the lid is from a different project, but it's okay. <laughs> The second jar design I have is a ombre bottle, well, at least a wannabe. I saw the ombre effect in Pink So Foxy's video, so I decided to try it. After I finished this project, I realized that all you really need is two bottles of colors rather than three. So anyways, I picked out three blue shades that I think would look good, and yep, it turns out looking pretty awesome. I love it. Nails. Can't forget the nails if you love nail polish. I went with a very simple nail pairing. This is a bad timing for this video since I just recently cut my nails. Nail polish looks a lot better on long nails, but uh, long nails make typing a lot more troublesome for me. Anyways, let's pretend these tiny short nails are long. <coughs> I'm using nail polish bottles that I have, so the closest and the best pairing I find is using Clean Color Nail Polish number 157 Metallic White and number 96 Vegas Night. Lastly, DIY trees. Just kidding, I can't cook. But I love to eat. 
That's all for this DIY. Thanks for watching. See you and have fun.